Well, let's go ahead and do this here. Meadow I did, I don't know. I mean, just because of everything we did, I put an air filter in it. Uh, we can, I mean, I guess we can take that one back out and I'll just, I'll just use this air filter for the break in if you don't want it, but eh, you know, fresh air filter. Still haven't found the filter minder <laughs> somewhere. It's been kind of a long-term job. Uh, seems like it. What we're going to do now is, oh, I haven't found, I just had it. Tanner took the heat shield off of there. Well, I took it off and handed it to Tanner and nobody ever saw it again. So we got to find the heat shield for the glow plug control module. But for now, let's get in it. Let's just gamble right now. I'm not even going to hook the computer up. I actually fired it last night. And let's see what happens here. It, I didn't put the banjos on and bleed the fuel cooler and it fired up pretty freaking quick fuel pump still running here you go still haven't bled yet hasn't it hasn't left the bay so That's ridiculous, that number five. Had to change that number. George, uh, he just did the 550, he's here right now. He had to warranty a number five injector out of the set that we got for the 550 also. What a pain in the butt. So he was warranty number five in the 550, the same time I had a number seven in a 6.4. But it actually, I mean, honestly, now all my cares and fears are gone because it, it sounds good. I mean, it had a couple of stumbles, but I think it was just pushing air out uh, last night, or, or yesterday, yesterday. I had a couple of stumbles, but I mean, it's actually been pretty flawless, and it, it sounds good, sounds. So now, this, I had to get my mind off the engine, guys. I had to get my mind off of it. I mean, the, the interior and all this stuff, the fact that we took it apart pales in comparison to the importance of the engine. So now that we've got this fired up, we've got the kinks worked out, you know, the injectors issue, the you know the, the the original pump issue and potential metal in it but now here let's do this you probably have to shut and open the door oh there they go I'm happy. I'm liking it. I'm going to wait to put the steering wheel on for final until we get the seats all in and bolted down. This seat right here, there are no ferrules in the bottom. There's no ferrules for the front bolts for the jump seat. The back ones line up. Actually, all the bolts line up on all the seats except the front two. And I got underneath there, there are no ferrules. So there's nothing to thread to. So my thought is I want to weld a strap to the two bolts so that you can put the whole piece in the bottom and just have nuts on the top. That's what I want to do. Oh, am I feeling a miss? I guess I need to put the computer on it if I'm... No, no, it's fine. I'm just... All right, there you go. But there's no bolts, and we're gonna put the rest of them in. The other thing is this piece right here. Now, we need to drill the spot welds out. Or, or maybe you can, or whatever you wanna do. If we take this off, drill the welds out, it's just a plate that's welded onto it. And then get a six liter back panel because the jump seat right here has a seat belt in the jump seat right here. It has a seat belt. So we don't need this, and when this folds back up, it actually hits it. So we need to get rid of this and put a six liter backer on it. I think I have some here. Uh, that's just, well, yeah, I mean, there's, the ideas never stopped. So I still haven't finished everything up top. I just wanted to focus on the engine first, get that going. But now we can have a little bit of time here messing with this. So, uh, 
not too bad. Let's get the bed bolted on. We're, we're also got different bolts for the bed because a lot of them, I had a bunch of long bolts. They were all wrong. We're going to put short bolts in it and they, they're, yeah, I mean, it's just, let's, let's, we got different bolts. We already got them. So we're putting them in right now. Uh, tighten the bed down, get the wiring done, tailgate on, but bumper, uh, figure out the wiring for the camera and the trailer hitch and the tail lights, get all that done. And uh, the shift boot, the four wheel drive shift boot, kind of letting it relax a little bit, hoping that the carpet will go down. It's relaxed quite a bit and I've cut it trying to get it to fit. But if I can get it to relax enough so I can actually hook up make it hit because this carpet is uh, uh, i mean if i get it hooked on it'll be a, a very cool act of nature uh, same with the top one we're gonna have to get those on too with the new car i think it'll be all right though we'll it'll be fine this is the old dash uh, i mean everything works best with the old dash and now maybe we i mean right now what i'm playing it is to change all the panels change all the panels and let's see what we can make work with this dash wiring harness because we need this wiring harness um it's kind of a drag but we'll see what all it has plugs for the thing that's a bummer is well once we get it running i can mess with the programming and maybe get that larry that xlt cluster in and that will cause the door locks to work because right now we got power windows power windows work both sides Okay, power windows work, but the door locks actually go through the cluster. So we have to get the cluster switched out because I don't think the path, the paths in the circuit board of the cluster, of this cluster, will allow power door locks. I don't think it's even there. They didn't put a provision in it. So that's what my guess. Now, I could be way wrong, but that's, that's what it looks like to me from messing with this programming. I still haven't bolted the dash on, but that's because we don't know what we're doing yet put all the panels on and yeah let's let's do it let's I'm gonna I don't like to let it sit here and run Honestly, all I'm really trying to do is just uh, th there's imperfections all over inside of this and I don't care who says what I mean there's always imperfections there's little things that don't get machined absolutely completely correct let's shut it off oh and one thing hey all you guys with manuals why don't you hit the clutch before you shut it off just hit the clutch just bottom out that clutch and then turn the key off and then if you really want to second guess it start it back up and then shut it off without pushing the clutch in and just listen to the rotation of how everything shuts down and then you'll uh, hopefully everybody will start pushing the clutch in when they shut their truck off because it definitely makes it shut off nice and easy so all right guys that's meadows video who knows what have a good day